uh, you have finished, so we can start painting now. Okay, for this painting, I think we can start from uh, the two onions, they after the cabbage, all right? So we can start now, okay, because the color of the two onions is very dark, yeah. Still remember that I mentioned you, we, for what color painting, we always paint from uh, the light color to the dark color, right? But this one no problem because this one is uh, uh, there are no uh, overlap to the to the carpet. So uh, for the for the onion, you also need to paint from light to dark. Okay, so carpet also can start from light to dark, right? So we can paint this one first. The color I'm going to use is the red. Here is red, and I make a little bit purple. Yeah, so purple is, is, is what's better. Then if you mix in more water, so make it, yeah, very watery. So we can start from a light area after. Onion, this is light area, they keep, keep the highlight here. Look, I'm doing, I keep a little bit highlight, all right? So after that, we can move to the other area. Uh, look, the, the values start from the light area, then moving to the uh, dark area, the color change to um, darker. Okay, now I need to mix in a little bit blue. The reason I need to mix in blue is just make the color dark, All right? See the color is dark. So continue. And don't make it too, uh, too slow. You need to keep a little bit space because once your paper is dried, and it's very difficult to connect the different colors. For example, here now they connect very neutral, very natural. If you very slow and here the edge already dry, then you put another color here, they're very difficult to, uh, to connect them. Huh? Okay, so the upper part here also, we need to make it a little bit red. And also we need to make it lighter, light red here also. This is the first, uh, how do you say, first wash, okay, this is the first wash. We also can see the value or on the value already there, but the value is not dark enough for shadows, right? The first, uh, the first coat, in oil painting we call it the first coat, but in watercolor we call it the first wash, uh, this first wash. We, we, we use a brush and carry a lot of water and water paper. So that's why we, we call it wash. This is the first wash. Okay, uh, same side, same process, we do the next one. Okay, same process we do the, uh, the other one. Um, okay, so they are, that leave it dry. Now we move to here. Uh, same process, we start from light area, it's here. Okay, this is highlight. Yeah, we can create a rectangle shape and keep the white paper for the light highlight, then after that we move to the, the medium tone area and use what color. Look the quite quite same similar to the to the you know 
the pencil drawing that we did uh, past weeks, right? Okay, so now this is a dark color I'm going to do is, uh, I'm use red and a little bit blue, so they create a very dark tone for the shadows here. So they, right? Look, because it's a very watery, <laughs> you can see the paint is flowing down. This color. Okay. And in the middle part here, you can see, I think it's a, it's a very dried end of the um, onion, but uh, we cannot do it now because the paper is very watery. So we leave the paper dry first, then we're going to come back to in this area. So now we need, we need to come back to this one, come back to this one, because this one already dried. So we continue draw another layer of the shadows here. And uh, the top part here, they actually we can mix in a little bit uh, yellow, yellow. Uh, I know the yellow mix with uh, purple may be very muddy, but uh, um, doesn't matter. Don't make too much because here you can see a little bit yellowish on the top part of the on the, here. Okay, soft edges. All right. So this is second wash of the onion, but this onion, so second wash. And you can use a very dread brush. Now this is a dread brush. Also, we, sometimes we call this uh, thirsty. Okay, very thirsty, yeah, like thirsty. Bar. So we can uh, lift a little bit water from the dark tone here. Yeah, see that the white line is, is appear, the white line appears here, right? So use a dry brush, uh, use a dry brush, now uh, this is a dry brush. Uh, you can use a tissue, you can use a small piece of tissue to dry your brush, right? Then after that, you can lift the color here to keep a little bit white lines. This one also, you know, the onion textures, right? Uh, this part also, uh, a little bit only. All right, uh, we haven't done yet, we haven't done yet. So we need to continue to paint it um, a few layers, few layers until uh, this one reached the, your desired value. Okay, so the value not done yet because not dark enough. Not dark enough. Okay, so leave the dry. You cannot touch it anymore now. So leave the dry. Doesn't matter. Here also we need a little bit light. Here also a little bit light. Okay, now we, we move to this one, the cabbage. Uh, here actually, yeah, we also have, we need to pin this uh, top side of the uh, onion here because it also is, uh, should, should be the medium tone, 
and which is darker than the light angle. So this is a form. Look, this is a form. You check your pencil drawing, then you will know uh, how the values looks like on the onion. Yeah, this one should be like this. Uh, I can show you the pencil drawing. Okay, guys, this is my pencil drawing last we, we did it last week, right? Okay, look, this side here, this is the top side of the onion. It also should be the medium tone, okay, medium value. This is light area, and this is shadow area, cut shadow, right? Look, our onion, same, the top side of the value. This is light area, shadow. All right, cut shadow we haven't, uh, we haven't do yet. So we we'll do it later with the, uh, with the shadow of the cut page, okay. Which means we need to paint all the shadows together, okay. Uh, this, we just finished uh, two washes, right? Two washes, first and second two washes, everyone. So we leave it uh, later, not, 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 not finished yet. Uh, next is, uh, I'm gonna use a big brush, uh, bigger brush, okay, not really big, and smaller, just now the brush is uh, this one, small brush, and now we need, need a slightly bigger for the <coughs> cabbage. Cabbage is a uh, green. Light green, remember we use light green. This is light green. Okay, look, this is light green. All right, and we can mix in a little bit yellow, a lemon yellow. See, uh, lemon yellow and uh, with a light green, they become very, very light lemon yellow green. Okay, is this the right color? and put a little bit of water. Okay, all right, so we can paint. We can paint the, the green leaves on the carpet here. You may ask why you don't paint the the white area. Yes, we, we can we need to paint that, but uh, I think we paint the green part is much easier. Right. Okay, here we need, I think you need to lift a little bit because here is not, the, the green, they also have different values. Okay, here is darker and here is lighter. Right? So we keep these values and then we move to here. All right, here one small leaf come out. So you don't need to paint it very even. So you can keep a little bit uh, brush gap, okay? Dry brush stroke for your cafe. Look, my, the whole green area actually almost use the same color um, just because this, this, this is a 
first cold, first, uh, no, not, not first cold, uh, first wash, right? First wash. If oil painting, we call it first coat. But nice, this one, first wash. Okay, my first wash done, uh, but look, there are white, like white ones on the, on the leaf, right? We can use a dry brush, um, still are same, similar like that this one, and use a dry brush to lift color. This one, lift the color. Okay, but if your drawing is is not same is not same as, as same as a original photo, it's actually it actually doesn't matter, right? Okay, so the first wash of the cabinet done. Now after this, we're going to paint the next wash. The next wash, which means we need to paint uh, the little bit shadows uh, on the green part of the leaf. But before that, I think we need to paint a little bit uh, wet area on the, on the leaf here. Okay. Uh, the color we need is here, we need to use a little bit blue, uh, just a little bit only, and mixing a little bit yellow. Uh, so red, uh, yellow a little bit. So we just create a create a, a coat gray, not green, coat gray, All right? And after that, we can look, we have a texture like this, All right? This is the kind of texture. Here, no more. But here, they can see a little bit lemon yellow here, just a little bit only. Or brown, you can see the kind of brown actually. Here, a little bit only. All right. Yeah, also. Okay, on the ones that will be the shadows of the ones. Okay, so this is uh, a bit. We can mix in a little bit blue here, just because this part of the cabinet they catch some reflections from the table, from the cloth. A little bit blue. Okay. After that, we use the same method, same technique to leave the color. Yeah. It's very light, <laughs> very light. You can almost cannot see from your side, but uh, just uh, mixing more water, you can get a very light tone. Okay, after this, uh, we're going to paint, we come back to the, uh, the two onions, we're going to paint the dark tones of the shadow and the car shadow. Then after that, we go back to the cafe painting the shadows. Uh, actually, paint the shadows, which means we need to find out all the details on the leaf. And after cast shadow, uh, we make make the cast shadow uh, here and here and here. We make them together. So because they are similar color, we do it later. Okay. Now we do this one. We look at this one. We do try it. Almost try it. Yeah, already tried. So we make the uh, shadows here. 
okay, that, that one that part is still wired. You can leave it in the drawer. So if we use this method because it will take a long time. So if you just focus on one things on your paper, you you're wasting time. We wasting time because you need really to draw it. So wasting time. Now we take time to draw them. Yeah, that will be save a lot of time. All right. So now we need uh, this is color burn umber, burn not burn umber. This should be burn sienna. Okay, let me check burn sienna. Yeah, this is a burn sienna. We need a burn sienna for the for the shadow area. Okay, burn sienna, uh, mixing a little bit blue. We use blue. Okay, we use this sky blue. All right. Oh, not sky blue, sorry, sorry. I think better we use a uh, ultramarine. Ultramarine, it will be better because sky blue is kind of a green come out. We, we, we don't use that one. It's a uh, ultramarine. Okay, sky blue mixed with a uh, um, burnt sienna, you, you got some, it's a little bit green. You look a little bit green. I, I don't want this color. So we use burn sienna, come again, burn sienna here, right? Now we can find this uh, ultramarine. Okay. Yes, this is the right color I want. Okay, and uh, at some time we can mix in a little bit uh, purple. Okay, so this is a very dark tone for your shadow here. Look, wow, that is the color. Okay, so here we go. We paint. And uh, this part of here, I can mix in a little bit uh, blue. Uh, ultramarine, yeah, ultramarine works better. So okay. So this is reflections you can see. Now this is a shadow. So here a little bit detail. Right, and moving to this side, the corner slowly, slowly become to uh, purple. We can mix in a little bit purple. Yes, this is the color. We can mix in a little bit purplish. Here also a little bit purple. So light area. Let's okay. the more tones. Oh, this one too much water here. No more. Shadows here. Okay, same. We use a dry brush, uh, the third day brush, to lift the tones for the white lines on the text on the skin texture. Okay, this is the white line for the skin texture. 
All right, now this is the onion. Yeah, I put a little bit cocoa on the light area here. Okay, so this is a highlight. Now the onion is done, almost done. <laughs> Still have a little bit details here. Yeah, we can. Yeah. We need a little bit brown. Here as well. Okay, now this is the onion done. Look, this is a highlight. This is a light area of the onion. This is a shadow. Here is the reflection. Reflection catch a lot of ref, uh, reflex from uh, the, the blue cloth. So that's why here is a bit bluish. All right, so this is a theory of the color. Okay, done. This one done, and uh, move to the next one. Okay, so for this one, we also we need to mix, uh, we use the ultramarine. Ultramarine in the burn sienna. So we use a great dark tone, and also to mix a little bit purple. All right, okay, this is the color that I want. Okay, look, here is a dry tip of the onion. Then okay, shadows. They when we move to this side, the color slowly, slowly become to uh, red, a little bit red and a purple, a little bit purple. Okay, so you can, yes, yeah, so make a little bit color like this and the uh, yellow a bit. Here you need to make a little bit yellows. Yes, this color. Then we continue more to. So we need to paint a little bit fast. I don't want my paint dried on the paper before I finish the painting. Okay, this is the purple. Uh, I need a little bit of purple here. All right. Thank you. 
Okay, this is highlight, but the highlight shape is different with this one. All right, so this is on in. Okay, so now I'm using dry pencil, the uh, dry brush to lift color. So the start with the water to make the color a little bit lighter. I can see the texture on the onion skin. Right. Okay, so this is the second onion I haven't done yet. I need a little bit dark tone. I use ultramarine and mix with the burnt sienna. A little bit dark tone for the dread tape here. This is the, the two onions, leave it dry, leave it dry. Okay, look like apple, quite similar. Okay, I think this one not dark enough. This still can keep, so you can mix a, a little bit dark tone. Here. Just a little bit only. We are not using black, so we, we use a burn sienna mixed with a ultramarine to create a dark tone, right? It's not black. Oh, here also we need to make the, you know, the blue reflections. Just put it here. Yeah, a little bit late, but never mind. Okay, this is a reflection. All right, so leave it to dry. So just leave it to dry. Uh, okay, we continue paint the details on the cabbage. All right, just now we, we, make, we finished the first wash and uh, only the light area. Now we are going to do the shadows on the green leaf, okay, all the shadows there. Uh, after we painting the shadows and think you can see the details already. All right, okay, here we go. Uh, for the shadows, on the leaf is green. We just use green. Just now we use light green. Now we use just a green. This is actually green, mid green, middle green. Yeah, this is green. So we don't need to mix any other colors, just green. Uh, maybe a little bit um, yellow ochre. Yeah, make it warmer. Uh, maybe you can make it a little bit yellow ochre. Yellow ochre can make the green 
a little bit warmer. Okay, now here we go. Uh, first, we start from here. Look, this is the shape of the leaf edge. Hello? No, this is the shape of the edge. You know, because here, uh, a small piece of a leaf will come out. And moving down, I think we can mix in a little bit uh, yellow, I'm uh, sorry, brown, making a little bit brown. Green mixing a little bit brown, which means make the uh, green darker than, now this is darker green, darker than this one. Right, and this edge of the leaf. So you can see we don't paint it too much here, but just a little bit only. You can see. This is the looks like the wrinkle on the on the leaf, right? Okay. And look at the color of the wrinkle. Some some is darker, some lighter. Yeah, some. Some wrinkle darker, some wrinkle lighter. Okay, so look, this is the leaf. Then we continue paint here and moving to this side. We got more detail to paint. We use the grain to paint this area. Okay, careful the white ones. Okay, look at the white ones. We need paint the green between the white line and uh, look. This is the white line. This side should be a little bit shadows. The shadows we can use green and mix in a little bit brown. It's green and brown. This is the shadow for the here. Okay, mixing a little bit blue as well. Yeah, to make it gray, like a gray. Okay. 
here another leaf. Okay, look, this part of the green is mixing a little bit blue. I, I want to make it slightly cooler. Okay, so I need more green. Okay, look, immediately use your gray brush to lift the color to create the white lines for the leaf. Uh, this one really need a patient. <laughs> okay, a lot of the details already, it's not easy. So now mind we try, try, our, best, try our best because this drawing, this Picture we already finished the pencil drawing. I think it was familiar with uh, details. That's why I ask you to paint the same thing. Here is shadows. Okay, look at the cabbage here. Uh, because it catch a lot of blue, so we can use uh, some blue paint for, for the lower part of the cabbage here. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I need a little bit blue. All right, now this is the blue, but I need to make some light tones here because look, there are a lot of uh, yellow details there. Use a dry brush, you know, right? You know how to, I think you already know how to create the dry brush. And use a part of tissue and uh, dry your water out. So this is a dry brush and the leaf the color here. This this one can create the white lines on the dark tone. So, look, this is the second wash actually, the second wash that I'm doing. After the second wash, we still have the third wash to do to make the shadows even darker, to refine the details. 
uh, a lot of things to do, but that one is do it later. Okay, now come back, continue with your life growing, this life growing, and make it a little bit uh, blue and the lemon yellow to paint here. Okay, we continue paint moving to this is the shadow area. The shadow area we need to make it a little bit darker. So I need this yellow. Okay, this is yellow and I'm mixing a little bit blue. The reason mixing blue is that is a reflection as well. Reflection can catch the light from the blue cloth. Yeah, so here yeah, should be a little bit bluish. This is green, yeah, that is a green, but uh, a little bit bluish green. Okay, so after mixing a little bit blue, okay, sky blue as well. Start blue. Look, I don't want you paint all them, come like a, use a big brush and come and uh, to cover the whole area because it look, there are a lot of white lines on the, on the shadow area. So you can keep some brush, dry brush and uh, keep like, some gap between the brushes, between the brush stroke. Yeah, and keep a little bit uh, white gap. That is your white lines on the on the green leaf. Look. Okay. Okay, look, this is all the shadows of the leaf, but you may ask, what, what's this? This is a gap between gap, right? Look, that is more part of a, uh, the leaf edge come out. That is uh, uh, the light edge, light edges from here, here, and here. Later, we paint the shadows, they'll, the edge will come out. Okay.
All right, this part of leaf almost done. The second wash, I mean, the second wash almost done. Uh, actually, not yet. And still can leave the color, wash the color here off to create more white lines. This is the one, right? Okay. I also can use a, a white paint to do it later after you finish everything. You can use a white paint. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and the only here, that's quite a small part of we finished that part of the name. The, and here, a little bit shadows. Okay, uh, this is the details. All right. We already done the two onions and the two wash of the cabbage. And uh, today I need to do all the, the all the background, okay? The leaning background and the blue cloth. And uh, once we finish the background, they come back for the cabbage and uh, just add a little bit more details than all the painting or set it down. Okay, so we can. I think use a um, baker brush, you know, baker brush, actually any brush, uh, this brush, or brown tip, like the Chinese brush, or you can use this, this brush, it's up to you, see what, what kind of brush you have. <clears throat> okay, actually, I really like this brush, okay. This is actually is a, it's not it's not a natural fur it's a it's a synthetic fur so synthetic hair so what's the color of the leaning color leaning is brown and uh, mm, it's kind of a cold gray cold gray now the background is cold but uh, it's kind of Gray. It's no. It's not brown. It's gray. So how to make the color of the gray? Uh, okay. So we we, we make uh, analyze of the background. The the color from the color on the leaning background from left side to right side. The color uh, actually from the dark gray. Slowly, slowly change to light gray. Yeah, from the left side to the right side, it's a dark gray to the 
light green. It's slowly change to light green. Very right, can you see that? And then also on the top left corner here, the color not only dark but also a little bit cold, which means you can mix in uh, a bit blue, a bit blue, all right, this area. And here, uh, slightly warmer, slightly warmer and brighter, slightly warmer. Okay. And uh, then the blue clothes is totally blue, so dark blue, you can see. But uh, shadows here, the shadows of the cabbage on the blue clothes. This is the dark blue, but also affected by the green leaf. So this blue can actually change to a bit green, greenish, a little bit greenish, right? And here, shadows here is the same like this one. This is also dark blue, but affected by the, the purple onion. So this blue can you can see a little bit purplish a little bit purplish just a little bit yeah and uh, the, this part near close to the green leaf here yeah you can see a little bit greenish yeah the color actually slightly complicated but uh, this is how the light and the color works right uh, so we can start now okay first of all we are going to paint the leaning background, which means the cold gray. So I'm going to make the cold gray. So first of all, I'm going to take a little bit uh, brown. This is a, uh, you can check your color. We call this um, burnt sienna. Burnt sienna is not brown. It's a brown is, uh, most brown color looks like a burning umber. Okay, so this is a burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, it's a, a little bit reddish, yeah. It looks like red. It's a burning sienna. Then burning sienna, we can mix in a bit blue. I'm going to find oh the blue we use is the uh, ultramarine. Now this is the, the gray that I created, but. The gray too dark, so I can mix in a little bit water. Water, you can check the color that I'm making here. Okay, so uh, now you can mix to the shadows here, see how uh, it's too warm, it's too warm. Yeah, it's too warm. So I can mix in a little bit more blue. Green, green, that is a little lighter. See how? Okay, so more water. Ah, yes, this is this is the color that I want. Yeah, the, a little bit greenish. Can you see the green side? Okay, so I'm going to paint now. Right. So moving up, a little bit more blue. Right, so this is a gray. This is gray. See now, of course, here should be the color shadow, but I haven't done yet. Later, we can make some uh, dark color for this area and for the shadow. But we do it later. We do it together with the blue coat. Okay, look at the edge of the cabbage. We need to uh, be very careful because you can check the edge of the cabbage. Uh, some very light tone there. You keep a little bit white paper uh, for you to paint the 
light edge, the light yellow edge, right? We have kicked a little bit. And uh, this edge is now smooth, right? In some edges come out and some shadows in. Here also very please be careful. This area there are no light edge, so we just paint the background close to the cabbage. And here a little bit edge. You see the light edge. You got what I mean? Now here you got a little bit light edge. Here there are no edges. Right? Here light edges. You see that? Okay, so we continue. There are no more light edges. So we keep painting to this area and the, the color is getting lighter and lighter. Color getting lighter. So a little more water in here. Color has become very light. Uh, this is the background. And you can see a little bit gap between the brush stroke on the background. So the gap, you can keep it actually. You don't need to cover everything. So look at the background dark like Okay, the color I'm using uh, I actually is just a um burnt sienna and a little bit Ultramarines, a little bit ultramarine. So the color actually is a bit greenish because uh, like the blue mixed with the uh, blue with the uh, burnt sienna, it looks like a greenish, a green gray. All right, so we just uh, paint everywhere on the green background. Show uh, the color on the on the background. Create any patterns there? No patterns, just a plain background. More important actually is the color. Color itself. This is the background. Okay. 
No, leave it to dry. Hmm, leave it to dry. Okay, now we come back to the blow top. Okay, I read you guys for a while. Remember the color I'm going to use for the I was used for the for the I use uh, the color I use for the background is just burnt sienna and the uh, ultramarine burnt sienna ultramarine. If you need more green like here, so you can mix it with the green. Other than that, all ultramarine and the uh, burnt sienna. Yeah, only two colors. But you can use the water to uh, to adjust the density of the color, which means some color you need uh, more pigment, less water. Some where you need more uh, water and uh, less pigment, uh, less color, more more water. You can adjust. So leave it here. Leave it dry. So next up is I need to paint. Blue cloth. The blue cloth, you can see. Uh, with some um, light tones, remember for the watercolor painting, we always some um, light tones. Okay, then slowly change to dark tones. From light to dark. All right, I think you already finished the background, right? So if you finish, then we're going to paint the blue cloth. <coughs> so what's the color of the blue cloth? The blue cloth is actually sky blue. It's a kind of a sky blue. And the color sky is So this is kind of common. Yeah, this is a kind of cerulean blue. So you can check your color and see just make it kind of like this one. This one. But this is light tone, right? Light tone, not light tone. Now we're making But uh, we need uh, some other other blues. We cannot use just, just simply one blue paint everywhere. So we can the blues also different. If I turn the So this is the light tone only. I will go. We just paint same color for the whole cloth. Uh, not same, but the, the features a little bit different, right? Other after maybe later after this uh, wash first wash dry, we're going to paint the details. Okay, the shadows of the cloth, and it looks like the more uh, makes sense. It's not just a piece of color, not clothes. So, keep 
something sky blue here In color for the whole piece of color, and then let's use some more blue. Let's just use some much water. Uh, look, there are a lot of uh, dry brush stroke. You can see uh, the gap between the brush strokes. Yeah, just uh, leave it on the paper. Okay, that might matter. Uh, Right now, this is the first wash. This is the first wash. So the first wash we need to mm, the first wash now is done. We we need to read it dry. Okay, we can read it dry. Okay, so leave it. Um next step we need to paint the card shadow, the card shadow of the Great and the two onions. Okay, all the cut shadow, uh, even the uh, later on, we, we need more details on the cabbage. You don't need to read it 100% dry, okay? So I think it can feel like still wet, still wet, but uh, not totally dry. That is a dry timing for you to paint the cloth of the cloth hole. Now it's I think I need to paint the cloth, the shadow of the cloth. I right, but color we need a little bit darker. Uh, and I'm going to use here. This is a uh, burn. Uh, sorry, it's a pressure blue. Pressure blue. It's a more dark. 
And I'm going to make see a little bit coiny. Make it a little bit coinish. Okay, right. So we need to move some circles here. Shadows. And the page here. In the the lower part here, the shadows we need to mix in a little bit purple because the reflection from the onion here a little bit only. Okay, shadows here also on the yellow, uh, the gray leaning background. Okay, so this is shadow. Actually, the shadow is the connection between everything on your paper. Okay, this actually is a connection. The intermediate, uh, well, is something between the cabbage and the onions. Yeah, they connect them together. Okay, now this is a, okay, the shadow, shadow circle. I need to come mine. Ultramarine means water color here. Ultramarine mixed with the brown, uh, the Persian blue, yeah, darker. Shadows here.
Shadows here. Right, and the shadows here, cut shadows here. Okay. Now that is color there, actually, that is green, green, and the blue is color here. More blue. Guys, okay, so you must be careful. Huh? Look at the edge of the cafe here. It's not very smooth edge. You can see a lot of details here. This is the color and the, the start of the command to the page here. Great. Shadows here. Right. So now this is this part of the cloth almost done. Okay, now I need to make the shadows on the cabbage a little bit darker. Right. Okay, it's time to change a small brush for the details here on the tip here. Don't mix in too much water.
here also can you see a big red or here it's common Brown and the green. So we can use burn sienna. The how to mine comments here. I think the, sh the blue shadows on the blue cloth is not dark enough here. Here, it's not dark enough. So I need to paint, paint them again later, okay, after this layer dried. I'm not later, dry first. So I need to paint another layer. <laughs> 